What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So my people, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. But the first thing I'm gonna share with you see man out and be reportedly for murder, gun down in St. Anne. A laborer of Gully Road in St. Anne, who was reportedly out on bail, was gunned down Monday afternoon. The deceased has been identified as Dwayne Clark. According to law and preliminary investigation revealed that about 3 p.m. residents heard explosion and summoned the police. Upon their arrival, Clark was seen lying on his back with what appeared to be multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Reports are that Clark was on bail after he was reportedly charged with murder. This incident follows another fatal shooting on Sunday where Adrian Bridge, a 47 year old body repairman, was allegedly shot by a member of the Jamaica Defense Force during an argument. The police are investigating both cases. So, people, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And I can't run off a bridge scene and why the passenger them narrowly escape injury serious injuries are death you see me i say something i'm sure that we do not people a toyota voxy carrying passengers narrowly avoided disaster after it veered off the Negril bridge and plunged into the river on tuesday morning deputy superintendent of police shana j mitchell zone 4 commander for little london and negril stated that the police are currently investigating the incident but the individuals involved have already left the scene there weren't any apparent injuries the paramedics arrived at the scene quicker than the police the individuals didn't leave their names mitchell revealed adding that the police will be using technology to locate the persons in the vehicle the exposed area mitchell said has been cordon off and a wrecker and a crane are on site to remove the damaged vehicle so the people them take with themselves left, left the vehicle seeing so i don't know if them people you know, have no license or anything why them take with themselves or it was a stolen vehicle you see it so the police want to know who the persons is you know what i mean because member the wrecker fee have to pay you see what i say so more or less they may be chased back the vehicle to the owner you see me so let me know what you guys think in the comment section my people and we are gonna move on to the next thing we happen right man shot dead while playing dominoes the police in saint catherine have launched a probe into the shooting death of nigel carty who was shot and killed while playing domino on monday night it is reported that about 8 pm carty was among a group at a corner shop in the gulf district near linstead when they were pounced upon by two men with guns the armed men proceed to open gunfire hitting the now deceased multiple times before escaping the area on foot police personnel later found carty's body slump on a wooden stool no motive have been established in the fatal shooting but it was revealed that he is the second family member to be killed by gunmen in recent months so maybe i look a few that go on this on my people so let me know what i think in the comment section and we are gonna move over to Ina saint elizabeth right saint elizabeth man charged over fatal shooting at dance the police in St. Elizabeth have charged a man for the shooting death of another at a dance in Union Square last December. Him named Brown, seen otherwise called Boom, who was listed as a person of interest, is charged with murder possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and using a firearm to commit a felony. Brown is charged with the shooting death of Lennox Leachman, alias Jason on December 8, 2023. The police report that Brown and Leachman were among patrons at a party at Union Square when the accused reportedly got into an argument with persons over stone throwing. He reportedly slapped one of the men. The police say Brown was accused by the now deceased and another patron. Reacting, he reportedly pulled a firearm from his waistband, pointed it at Leachman and fired several shots. He was rushed to the Black River Hospital 
where he was pronounced dead. Brown was later brought in by his lawyer where, was, where he was arrested. He was subsequently charged after being questioned. So people, let me know what you think in uh, the comment section. Right? And another policeman get charged for murder people. Remember them all up on one of Clarendon the other day? Him and him girlfriend and an next person seen so that one here Aina Saint Andrew. You see me? A police constable has been slapped with murder charges in relation to an incident that took place in Saint Andrew in 2021. The policeman was placed before the Kingston and Saint Andrew Parish Court to answer to charges of murder contrary to common law on January. The charge are a result of an investigation by the Independent Commissioner of Investigation in the com and a ruling by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, Constable Hall, was charged in relation to the June 4, 2021 20, off-duty police fatal shooting of Mr. Brown on Irish Town Main Road in St. Andrew. Hall was offered bail in the sum of 400 grand with surety and reporting conditions. The matter was adjourned to be transferred to the Gun Court Division of the Parish Court on February 2024. So people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Leave a like and also subscribe. Bless up on yourself and thanks for watching.